Hello everybody, it's Claudia. Welcome back. About eight months or so ago, I made a video which I had named Have We Found the Fountain of Youth? In it, I talked about a supplement, a form of vitamin B3 called nicotinamide riboside, which has been referred to as the Fountain of Youth. I have been taking nicotinamide riboside now for about eight months, and I want to tell you about my experience with it and let you know whether we have found the Fountain of Youth. Before we get into the video, I want to say really quickly that I am not a doctor, nor am I a scientist. I am a certified PA, however, I say this all the time, that was a long time ago when I lived in Germany. When I moved to the US, I exchanged my stethoscope for dumbbells and became a personal trainer. So please know that I'm not trying to give any medical advice, I'm just talking about my experience and my research on this supplement. Also, supplementation is a very personal thing. I am not saying you should supplement with the supplement or any other supplement. Again, I'm just sharing with you what I have experienced. I will also talk about how you can naturally increase your NAD levels without taking a supplement. But first, let's talk about what NAD is. About 20 years ago, scientists discovered a group of proteins called sirtuins. The scientists realized that sirtuins play a critical part in aging since they regulate cellular health. However, they also realized that these sirtuins can only function in the presence of a coenzyme called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD. NAD is a coenzyme naturally existing in our cells, and it is responsible for hundreds of metabolical processes. In our mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of our cells, NAD is needed for adenosine triphosphate production, or ATP. ATP then provides the energy for countless processes in our living cells. So nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, or NAD is a crucial coenzyme, and without NAD, our cells would not be able to produce energy. Scientists actually say that without NAD, we would be dead within 30 seconds. However, unfortunately, as we age, NAD levels decline. It is said that by age 50, which right now I'm 51, we only have about 50% of our NAD levels. And this decline in NAD makes our mitochondria become dysfunctional. It creates a lot of waste product in the form of free radicals, which then bounce around in our cells and cause havoc and disease. Fortunately, scientists have found ways to increase NAD levels. In 2004, a doctor named Charles Brenner did an experiment where he gave aging mice a form of vitamin B3 called nicotinamide riboside in their drinking water. And within four weeks, these mice were younger. There is a video which I will link down below where one of the mice who was the equivalent of an 80-year-old person ran on a treadmill and had a really hard time keeping up and after the supplementation with nicotinamide riboside that little mouse ran like a young mouse. Now of course these are experiments on mice. Dr. Brenner went on to do a very small human study involving only six humans and he also has done a long-term study on himself. There are other scientists that have looked into how to increase NAD levels. Dr. David Sinclair, who is a Harvard professor, a fascinating man, I will link some of his information and videos down below if you don't know him, check it out. But he has done his own experiments. He doesn't use nicotinamide riboside, but he uses a molecule called nicotinamide mononucleotide, or NMN. And he has had some great results as well with NMN, of course, only in mice. But so far, his studies have been very promising as far as increasing NAD levels in mice. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I have been taking nicotinamide riboside now for about eight months. I have it right here. I first learned about NR from another YouTuber, Holly from Life and DIY. If you don't know Holly, I will link her channel and also the videos where she talks about nicotinamide riboside down below. Holly made a video about it about nine months or so ago and she talked about how she started taking nicotinamide riboside and how much better she was feeling on it. That made me curious and I called my doctor and asked him about it and he said, oh yeah, nicotinamide riboside, I take it, it's amazing, let me send you a bottle. So he sent me a bottle and I started taking it and here is what I've experienced. About three days into taking it, and I am not somebody who struggles with energy, I'm usually a pretty energetic person, but like everybody else, I'm human, I have some dips in my energy throughout the day where at about three o'clock or so, a nap sounds really good. When I started taking NR, 
After about three days, I noticed that that completely disappeared and I didn't even think about a nap. I just suddenly had a very sustained energy and that has lasted until now. Also, there was a feeling of just well-being that is really hard to describe, especially since I wasn't feeling unwell before. But it was almost like something was just slightly missing, just slightly, and suddenly it was there and it just improved my feeling of well-being. The next thing I noticed, and that was probably the biggest for me, I have talked about having trouble with my sleep quite a bit on this channel. I just made a video on it and I will link it down below if you haven't seen it. But I have never been the greatest sleeper. About two weeks into taking nicotinamide riboside, the quality of my sleep drastically improved. I've done a lot of things to improve the quality of my sleep and many of them have been really helpful, but NR has definitely been one of them. My sleep is a lot deeper since I have been taking NR and that is something to me that is just priceless and for that alone I will not stop taking the supplement. The next thing I noticed, and actually my husband noticed that, we were about to work out together and I was putting all my weights to the side that I was going to use and he said to me, are those the weights you're going to use? And I said, yeah, why? And he said, boy, those are heavy. And I realized that, yeah, I actually had increased my weights without even thinking about it. So that's a great thing that at age 51, I can actually get stronger. And then the last thing I've noticed, and I thought it was just something in my head until I went online and did a little bit more research and read many, of course, anecdotal stories from other people experiencing the same thing while taking nicotinamide riboside. And that is, I am not somebody who gets a lot of gray hair, but in the last decade, I've gotten quite a few of those pesky ones that stick up like an antenna and I would just pluck them. I've also found the occasional gray eyelash or gray eyebrow. However, since taking NR, I haven't had any gray hair. And like I said, I thought I was just imagining it until I went online and again read many anecdotal stories of other people experiencing the same thing. So these are the things that I have experienced since being on nicotinamide riboside or taking nicotinamide riboside and just for the quality of sleep improvement alone it is a supplement I do not want to be without but again I'm not saying you should supplement. As I'm editing this video in my very hot office, I realized I want to add a few things. First of all, I take this brand right here. This is True Niagen. And I believe this is Dr. Brenner's brand. However, Holly, who I talked about from Life and DIY, she takes a brand, I believe, called The One, which is also a good brand. I take 300 milligrams a day. I have played around with taking more. I have taken 500 and also 600 milligrams and really didn't notice much difference. So 300 milligrams seems to be a good dose, at least for me. Also, I oftentimes hear that one should combine nicotinamide riboside with resveratrol. David Sinclair is a big proponent of that. And actually the company, the one which I just talked about, they have it all in one supplement. However, I personally cannot take resveratrol. It gives me insomnia. So just taking nicotinamide riboside by itself seems to be giving me great results. And lastly, I want to say, even though this is a form of vitamin B3 with few, if any, side effects, if you're considering taking nicotinamide riboside, please talk to your doctor first. All right, back to the video. So let's talk about how to naturally increase your levels of NAD. The first thing you can do to naturally increase your NAD levels is exercise. Regular exercise stimulates our mitochondria, which raises NAD levels. Also eating a well-balanced diet, which gives us all the building blocks, is crucial. And trace amounts of NAD are found in cow's milk, yeast, and beer. However, talking about beer, reducing your alcohol consumption is also crucial to keep NAD levels high. Fasting is another way to improve NAD levels. However, I am not the biggest fan of fasting because of my history with anorexia, but scientists have found that caloric restriction by 20 to 30% through intermittent fasting can increase NAD levels. Protecting ourselves from getting too much sunlight is also important so that we don't deplete NAD levels by having to repair damaged cells. And of course, getting enough quality sleep is crucial to keep our NAD levels high. So these are the things you can do naturally to increase your NAD level. So this is it for this video. I hope that you find it informative, interesting, helpful. I would love to know in the comments if you take nicotinamide riboside or NMN, and if so, what sort of benefits have you noticed from it? Or do you do things 
to naturally increase your NAD levels. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I always love to hear from you. I love the interactions we have in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that wherever you are, you're staying safe and healthy. Until next time, bye.